Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's do another Cobalt and Catacombs dungeon run. All right, I still need to knock out Shaman, Warlock, Mage, and Priest. Let's go for Shaman. Why not? Who knows? Maybe if we get Captured Flag, it will make the uh, totems super good or something. That'd be pretty cool. Or invisible totems. Could be neat. What do we start with? Okay, so we got... Uh, we have Air Elemental and a Lightning Bolt on mana, on, on one mana. We have three two drops, Flame Tongue, Murloc Tidehunter, and Stormforged Axe. Two three mana spells, Lightning Storm and Unbound Elemental. A Defender of Argus, Hex, and a Fire Elemental. It's not bad. I, I like it. It's a pretty good mix. I'll we'll have to get that one drop out right away. Okay. Probably don't want to use Lightning Bolt on turn one. That would be sort of silly. Then we wouldn't be able to do anything unless we draft the uh, air, ele air elemental. Okay, game. So I wonder, like, I, I noticed there is a absolute definite bias towards pirates as warrior, which makes sense. But I'm wondering if, um, if every class has its own bias. You know, like, mage definitely had more nukes and spells and stuff. And there was one called hero power. It was like a big deal. It was a hero power focus. So, I have no idea. It's my first time trying Shaman. Let's, let's find out what Shaman's special is. Okay. Seeing potential normal Shaman-y type opportunities like Bloodlust. Um, these totems are pretty cool. All right, Cadgar Scrying Orb. Your spells cost less. Invisibility. All right, let's do it. Invisible totems. Okay. We have Restoration and Frost. We have a Burlock. Ugh, I've never liked Frost, and I really don't want to take that legendary Frost, who is awful. Whenever your spells deal damage, restore that much to your hero. All right, sounds good. Let's do that. Totems. Invisible totems that will never die. Will be good. Well, maybe they'll die. Unless I can get a healing totem out. For Doomhammer. I need to find some way to buff them over time as well. You know, like uh I don't know, what's the what's that Kodo called that doesn't inspire and buffs your totems, gives them attack or something? That's what I need. That's a lot of healing I just picked up. I didn't probably need that much. What is the Vitality Totem again? At the end of your turn, restore four health to your hero. It's got one extra HP. Okay. I mean, hey man, it's fine. You can't even tell what that is. It's a healing totem, okay. Well, that's a good totem to have rolled first. Nice. Mm-hmm. Excellent. So that's going to pretty much just heal right through anything this thing does. Because it, it can't target the same minion. Ah, damn it. Oh my god, was that lucky. It can't target the same minion twice, is all I was going to say. Oh, you don't know who you messed with. You are done. What happened to your luck? There, Pathmaker Ham. You seem like you're, uh, not so lucky anymore. Good. You don't deserve to be lucky. I hate you. <laughs> you make me so mad. Alright, what do we get next? I want buffs. Now that we have invisible totems, I want the totems to not suck. Uh, Doomhammer with double overload. Unlock our overloaded crystals. Hmm. Ooh, Whirling Zap-O-Matic, two drop with Wind Fury. That could be sick. We don't have any kind of like direct damage buff aside from Flame Tongue Totem right now though. All right, I can go for Mech Warper, sure.
We have a couple mechs. The Healbot was a mech. What else do we have that's a mech? Sneed's old shredder counts as a mech. And then the whirling zapomatic for Doomhammer. Itself. For pain. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'll take those. Those look good. I accept. Can't be targeted by spells or hero powers, and it's invisible. Super sneaky air elemental. Did you know that the current game's implementation uh, uh, in these dungeon runs of permanent invisibility was actually a bug? The mechanic was supposed to just be your units have stealth. But the way it got implemented, they ended up having permanent stealth. And they were just like, mm, okay. Sure, I guess we'll just leave it in. Hmm. No matter what, that thing's gonna die. Unless we wait one turn and then Defender of Argus. It's dying on my terms. Probably. Possibly. Or he's going to turn it into a raging, crazy thing. Hmm. My shield for okay, your move. Armor made to fit. Just throw it on Armor probably a vitality totem. Make sure that we don't lose this race. He is going to do a lot of damage with those, his passive, or his, uh, skill. Yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and not attack those. He will get some extra armor out of using cruel words on them, but he'll probably want to do it on that thing. Next turn. Or this turn. Wow. He didn't want to take advantage of the extra two attack this turn. That's a mistake. Okay, this is three damage. We've got seven plus three is... But da, 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 it's ten. I know how to do math. Hmm. Nice. Got the mana. The spell damage showed him. Beautiful. Get a lot of armor out of those guys. Oh well. I have a very solid board. And he's not going to beat me with that vitality totem down. Invisible vitality totem, mind you. All right, now. You lose. You lose, Overseer Mogark. I hate you. This guy and that guy that throws the stupid little random bombs. I don't like either of them. Okay. So, pretty good on the mechs. More mechs would be good. More nukes would be okay, because we're pretty likely to get plus spell damage from a totem. Um, don't really get a lot of benefit from overload right now. Okay, so... Wow, we already have our second treasure. Okay. Uh, the candle. I don't have any card draw. I'm going to go with Wondrous Wand. Mechanized. Yes. Yep, that's the way. Jade is cool, but we've already kind of... Ooh, Thrall. Evolve and thrall. Ooh. Invisible evolving? Sounds really hard for him them to counter. On the other hand, looking at my mana curve on, on, a, on the other screen where the Hearthstone deck tracker is, I don't have a lot going on at three and four mana. I have quite a lot going on at two, so I guess this wouldn't be the best for the curve. Four and five actually fits pretty damn well. All right, we'll take mutations. I, I kind of wanted to do the mech focus. But, we shall see. 
You gotta get a lot of damage out really fast to deal with these things. I can't silence. Silencing doesn't work because then he doesn't lose mana. Hexing doesn't really work either. You have to kill them so that he loses mana. Either either you kill all of them or and even then, he can very quickly get to, uh, he can just play more of them after five mana. Hmm. Am I really gonna, am I, I'm thinking about face tanking. Three plus two is five. Yeah, I might, I might end up face tanking one of these hits right now. Just delay the thing by one turn. Damn it, he's got another one now. No! Oh. Okay, cross your fingers. Something good, please. Nice. Very nice. Nice! Well, not really that great, but still, very nice. My seal for okay. So I have two turns. That's probably going to be either a freezing trap or one of the snaky type trap things. Let's see if it's a freezing trap. It is not. Two... Times two, four. Holy crap, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I think. Mm, yeah, I think so. Um. Okay. I was really worried about these things, and he just sort of died. <laughs> Turns out mechs are pretty good. All right, Bran Bronzebeard, double battle cries, nice. Ooh, double gangster with e, evolve and crawl, double battle cry, Bran, nice. Two Al Akir, the Wind Lords, and a Ragnaros, or a couple nukes. We we, we just have to go. Did that say battle cruiser? <laughs> oh hey, look, it's the rogue. Yay for easy fights. Alright, what do we want to draft? Definitely want you. Probably the the mech warper. That would be an ideal first car, uh, first thing. I wouldn't even mind getting the vitality totem and just throwing it out there. You know, vitality totem next to a flame tongue totem, just smashing away at him every turn, keeping me topped off. Seems like that'd be pretty good. I mean, it's it's pretty ridiculous how strong Cloak of Invisibility is. I think that people underrate it. I personally think it's way stronger than the, than people are giving it credit for. That's dangerous that he's got two of those boars. But he's an idiot, and he put them both out. Now I can just kill them both, and then he can't cast them anymore because he probably doesn't have any more. So, good job, buddy. No more stone tusk spores for you. <laughs> Yippee! <-oo. laughs> it's patches. I like patches. I want patches. <laughs> it's the second time on that one. Man, do you remember when they only had to do it four times? Just four. Rogues were so broken for a while. It's the third time there. This is getting kind of dangerous. The Swash Burglar is probably going to die. Uh, where is my Lightning Storm, please? I think I had 35 health to start. I'm just gonna put this guy down. Probably does not have. Really? 
What? <laughs> oh no, he's broken. Yeah, I got broken. Mm, don't currently have any spells that can do damage. Um. My seal for armory. Yeah, I could just go face, but I'm gonna just make sure this guy doesn't get out of control here. He's all over the place with his stolen cards. Step back. He could go nuts with Jade Golems, but nope. Here's my whirling Zapomatic. Excellent. Nice healing totem. Beautiful. Right on command. Ash to ash. Yep, he still hasn't managed to get to four on any car on any individual ash. card. That'll be the third, I think, on the Igneous Elemental. Why even do that? The death rat hmm. Don't get it, man. Just don't get it. That is my Whirling Zapomatic, so let's get the Wind Fury charged up. Could potentially heal a ton if I put down Halazil the Ascended and then Lightning Storm. Sneaky, but it's not going to get you any closer. This guy is taking way too long to beat. Come on! Stop it! I'm casting too many spells, man. You're annoying. No, Bran! <laughs> Not my Bran. Alright, I feel like the secondary elementals, he's probably got quite a few of those things. But he's he's gonna be dead. I'm gonna I'm gonna flame tongue the like spinny guy, and that's gonna do eight damage. It's gonna do two, two, four, seventeen, eighteen. I'm gonna do nineteen damage just by putting the flame tongue down on flame tongue totem down. Shame I don't have a single spell that will let me actually. Could you please quit? <laughs> My god, man. You're so annoying. Watch, he's gonna turn him into five fives just because he can. He's like, I don't wanna die. <laughs> Ugh. They don't have charge. Doesn't matter. Congrats. Very impressive. Nice. Yes, this is very nice. Good job. Drink with me, friend. Really? What's the advantage? It was there, it was a 5-5, five five, and now you have a 5-5. Five five. I don't... Mm. Someone needs to take this one back to the reprogramming room. Ooh. We get to choose our totem, and it only costs one mana. Beautiful. Sold. Obold Hermit, choose a basic totem and summon it for two mana. Nice. You get two invisible units, one that we can use as a sacrificial token, and the other one I can use to double up on, like, spell damage or something. Give your minions death rattle summon a random basic totem. Sweet. Lots of board presence. I don't want to go Jade Golems. Hmm. Yeah, totems it is. I wanted invisible totems, I got invisible totems. 
pretty awesome, actually. First try. Crazy in invisible totems. I need that, that Kodo, though, that makes everyone, all the totems stronger. Or there's that witch card. It's like a... Four mana, three, four? Summons a random basic totem when you cast a spell? I think that's how it reads. So we still haven't actually used... E hey, there's the Evolve. Let's see, we haven't evolved. We haven't seen Thrall. It does exist in theory. And excellent, now I have a... A turn one play every turn. Or every, every game. This guy doesn't even draw from his deck. He doesn't... He just... Summons a random minion. Doesn't have to worry about mana costs. It's kind of weird. Hmm... It really doesn't matter too much. I guess I'd go for the healing totem. This guy only has 20 health. He's just gonna summon a bunch of really dangerous... Bigger and bigger minions. I think it's scripted. You don't get the battle cry free spells from that, unfortunately. Yeah, good luck beating your way through this. I guess maybe I should have just gone for a Wrath of Air. Or sorry, Searing, Searing Totem, so I could just. Oh, that thing is gonna kill you! Normally he suicides it right away, but he can't find anything to target. Uh huh. Now, granted, I did just get rid of my healing, but we have Alazil the Ascended here, and he's gonna kill himself anyway. Yeah, I can see where that'd be a pretty dangerous build-up, but... Oh, crap! I didn't even see that that guy was in there. Rats. I mean, I guess it cleared the board. <laughs> Great. Great! Fine. Good, it's fine, it's fine. Hmm... Three, four, five, six, seven. Probably suicide. I want to play you. And then I'm just going to suicide whatever I have to suicide to get through this damn wall. Hmm. Wait, still dead. Okay, that was really annoying. I hate when that happens, when you evolve something like that. It just kills everything. Ooh, unstable mute evolution. What is this? Transform a friendly minion into one that costs one more. Repeatable this turn. Repeatable. What does that mean? They can like cast it over and over again? Awesome. Yeah, I want to do that. Of course, we got nukes and we have the ability to summon magical damage that's invisible. Hey, it's that stupid legendary. Maybe we should do this just because we could mess with it and do weird things. Do I have any ability to, like, freeze things consistently? Not really. Whenever another minion is frozen... What if I had that... If I had that wall... The wall that's, like, it's a 315 for one mana. Can't attack, but has taunt and freezes enemies that attack it. I could use Morabi and generate lots of cards. Could be cool. Crackle, crackle. I'm gonna go for nukes. Because so far, we really haven't been doing much of evolution. It's just not what we're doing. Okay, boss number seven. On the other hand, being able to summon a bunch of uh, spell damage and then just nuke the crap out of things sounds pretty good. Oh, I haven't fought this guy in a long time. So this guy does like two damage, I think, to any minion that you summon. 
So minions that have low HP are kind of useless. Unless they have like a a battle cry trigger or something. In which case he it doesn't trigger. You have to be played from the hand. I'm just gonna start stacking up spell power, knowing that I have those extra nukes in there. Speak of the devil, there's a crackle. Maybe I'll throw out one healing totem just in case. Now this mage secret is almost, I think almost always, this explosive runes. So you want to throw out a big HP minion to absorb the damage, or just have the ability to heal yourself. That works too. Yeah, let's get one... Healing totem. I want to get this guy healed up a little bit. Next turn I'll have four, minus one is three. We want to crackle. Four to seven. Not really. We'll just wait and see what he does. Mm-hmm. Applies to his units too. Awesome. Wait, not awesome. It'll die. Damn. My shield for what? I didn't click there. I totally clicked in a different spot than that. Right, we can trade damage for a couple turns. I've got this Halazil. Halazil, the Ascended. Oh, never mind. He just decided to kill absolutely everything, apparently. Interesting. Hmm. Next turn, probably crack. Ah, oh, don't do that. I wanted to crackle for some health gain, please. What a jerk. That one's dead, but that one should live. I really need some health here, please. Uh-oh. Everything's dead. Are we gonna kill my side of the board? What do you do? Oh, he didn't play an elemental last turn, so it didn't happen. Cool. Well, in that case, uh... Die. This guy seems like ridiculously straight. Ah, oh, no! I was gonna say ridiculously straightforward, and then he just kills everything again. He seems to really like killing my entire side of the board. I do not approve. Please don't tell me that there's something nasty in there. Ooh, a light well. Wow, that was his turn. He did nothing. He did absolutely nothing. He has probably six cards that are all, like, targetable. And he's just decided... What is that? Oh, it's a light well. Right. Okay, whatever. He's dead next turn. He's doing nothing again. He has... Just a bunch of removal. Awesome. Thanks for the victory, please. Thank you. Please and thank you. Mind your banners. Ooh, I would love a micro machine in my actual deck. That thing would be insane. 
All right, Greedy Pickaxe, gain a mana crystal, or the Party Portal. I do have a bunch of spells, and I do like having minions on the board. Yes, Party Portal, portal it is. Nukes, Destruction, Glacial Shard, Cryostasis, and another opportunity for Morabi. Murmuring Elemental, Battle Cry, your next Battle Cry this turn triggers twice. Okay. Nah, I think we go for just nukes. Because we're on the final boss. Amazingly already. I don't this seems ridiculously straightforward, like I said. Like this shaman build is kinda easy. He says right before he loses. Thrall versus King Togwaggle. Alright, Togwaggle. You're going down. No, oh, I haven't seen that in a while. Be dropping your treasures now. I take mine. Hmm. Yeah, I think I wanna keep all of those. I'd love to get the uh Oh derp. Oh, no, no, okay, I didn't take the, the the glacial taunt thing, I took the party portal. I was worried I took the three the 315 taunt, which wouldn't make much sense. All things considered. No, you die, not me. Start bashing him in the face. I love invisibility. It's awesome. I'll go for a uh, a free Sneed's old shredder and uh, the things that are expensive, please. Eh, it's two mana, five mana, and three mana. Don't have to deal with the overload, but it's not bad. He's five mana, right? Yeah. Hala, I can't say his name. Hala Zeal the Ascended. Me no crazy. You are crazy, actually. So we haven't even taken any damage. I don't really need to, to nuke for heals right now. Hmm. I guess we just start nuking him in the face. Don't do that candle nonsense, please. Hmm. What could that be? It could be cheat death. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy here. And then we'll attack face with a one. And if it is betrayal, good. It will it won't really do much. I mean it might kill the, the guy I just summoned, but who cares? I barely lost anything there. Okay, and then beyond that, I don't really need heals, but I guess we could nuke things in the face. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just go nuts. Now hold one. I'll hold one back in case we need the heals. This this guy is crazy good. Please don't wipe my board, please. No, that's what I said not to do. What a bastard! Oh god. Wait, why would you? Oh. Did he? What? No. He just used boots of haste so he could cast one dude. He just used it to save three mana. He spent one mana to save three mana. It's so dumb. Hmm. My totems might not be safe with that guy out. Well, I'll just summon another one and then nuke everything. No! I need these! Good lord. You know what's funny? The very first time I actually beat this guy, I uh, I fatigue killed him.
beast. Sea Reaver. Probably should have put a totem out first. Damn. Next turn we have 8 mana minus 2 is 6. Still have a lot of nukes. I got another lightning bolt. Two storm cracks. I, I really went heavy on the nukes. There's Thrall. Alright, so we got 6, 6, 6, and 1 mana. We have 6 mana total. Let's go ahead then and get another totem out. Five to eight. Pretty good chances. Let's kill that. Damn. Stop asking questions. Now I lose the ability to get my totems for free, I think. I don't know what's gonna happen with Jesticar's ring and this thing. Probably nothing. Nope, never mind. Holy crap. Transform a friendly minion into a random one that costs one more for just one mana. Oh, right, because the text is your hero power is upgraded, which would be the Chustikar uh, battle cry. And costs one, so the and cost one still applies. Awesome. Well, now that we have Thrall out, I, I can't really... I don't know, I can't see how this could go poorly. Summon Grubs. Hmm. Death Lord? End of your turn, cast a spell from your deck. No, I don't want to do that. I will maintain board presence. You know what I need? I need... that mage thing that lets me... Oh my god. That lets me, uh... Cast my, my, uh... My special skill multiple times. That would be nice. Sweet spot's usually about five to seven, so if I can find somebody that's around there, like I'd rather bring the Death Lord up, I think. Nice. So we went from a two-two to a four-four. Damn it! You got rid of my death rattles. Stupid bastard. He just insists on making it complicated. Hmm. Can I please win? I want to be done. I want to win. First try on Shaman. I keep. I'm, I'm, I haven't won yet, but still. First try on Shaman. Can you believe it? Come on, man! <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Give me a nuke. Please. Did he just mimic the Lich King? This guy just does not know when to quit. I have no nukes, not one. Okay, in that case, um... 
Willpower? There's some. And you are done! King Dogwaggle! Well, it took me like, what, six damn tries with Warrior, but Shaman seems pretty freaking easy. Cool. I mean, seriously, like, it was just... That was it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. Invisibility is super good. Okay, cool. I'll see you in the next episode where we have, uh, I think, just three classes left. Then we get a special card back. Ooh, fancy. So, the three on the bottom. Warlock, Mage, and Priest. I'll see you in the next episode. See you soon.